So I just done programming the sensors in this 2008 Nissan Sentra. So when I turn this on now, the light just comes off. That means it's programmed. Uh, the reason I did that because I, re I replaced the sensors in it and they all come shipped in a sleep mode. So you got to wake them up and program the sensors to the actual car. On Nissan's it's a bit of a pain in the butt. So what you got to do is, you know, turn the ignition off right now. You have to, uh, on, on this you just pull it back. Just be careful. It's on clips. And there is a, when you pull this back, this is your OBD port. It's like a diagnostic port. And this here is your, it's usually taped right in here, which I'll put it right back in there. Um, this is your TPMS program. So basically you take that out, you stick a, a paper clip behind that wire, just kind of give it, you know, shove it in in there. And make sure you, you get into this hole where the wire is, because there's more holes in there. The second one is empty. You get it in there, so what you have to do is, this is this is grounded. So you have to put the paper clip in here and ground it against this. Basically, when you put it, you extend the wire to here so you can touch this. Then you turn your ignition on, but not starting the car, just turn it on to the point that your, your lights will light up on the dash. And then you have about 10 seconds to very quick tap this six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And your TPMS light right over here will start flashing. Now, this is very important. Wait one minute. Because what happens is, if you don't wait one minute, you're not gonna start learning anything. So when you wait one minute, so there's, after a minute, there's two ways of doing it. First, do not shut the ignition off. Keep this so it's all light up. Do not touch this. You can use this tool which is, uh, I bought it a long time ago. This is for all the cars. This, they have a special for certain, you know, for certain brands, and this is universal for everything. It's, it was most, most expensive when I bought it. It works though. I've tried it in Fords, GMs, Nissan. So with this, you have about two to three minutes to go around the car and use it on the tires. This is the first way to do it. More professional, you have to have tool. I'll tell you about the second way. So basically what you do is you start with the front driver tire, you put it against the sidewall, you press this little button here and it's gonna light up. And you wait about five seconds here, then I will transfer it over here. Wait another five seconds, turn it off. And then you do this to all the tires, you start with the driver front, then you go passenger front, passenger rear, and then you go to the driver rear. When you come back to the car and your light is off, your TPMS light is off here, you've done it right. If you don't have that tool, there's another way, same thing, you do the same thing. You put your paper clip in that little wire, you turn the ignition on, you tap it six times. Once again, you wait a minute before you do anything. So maybe you just put your, you know, your, your light will be flashing here. Put your panel back on, and, you know, get everything ready. And then after a minute, this is very important. It's not gonna work if you don't do it right. After a minute, you start the car up and you drive it. This is kind of like an automatic relearn. I don't know if it will work for you. I haven't tried it, I've tried with this. I've tried to automatic relearn with, without waiting a minute. So basically I would tap this, the light would start flashing, I put everything together, start the car up and drive it. But it wasn't enough time. The minute hasn't passed, so the car wasn't in learn mode. In learn mode. So basically the car goes into the learn mode after one minute of this thing flashing there. And do not turn off the ignition. I hope this helps someone because I, you know, I, I couldn't find any right information. Everybody says just tap that and I guess they were either really slow or they got lucky. I was not, I guess it was fast. And you really have to do, let this thing flash for at least a minute or better for a minute and then start doing it because then if you do it too long, you gotta time it out. So wait a minute, let it flash for a minute and then either drive it or use the tool. For the 